what how what material advantage bad umpiring could create in a game i would assume that on average it could create like a one run difference but when you look at it like the they're actually like doing a good job man like usually it's under a quarter of a run sometimes <laughs> Every once in a while, you look at it and you're like, oh, they had an under 90% accuracy at calling strikes and balls, and it had like a, a 1.4 run advantage for uh, one team, and you're like, that's really bad. Like one in 10 pitches that should have been a strike was called a ball. And vice versa, like that's crazy. Umpiring is weird too, right? Like, <laughs> there's there's a metaphor in here somewhere, but I'm like, uh, I'm not anti-ump for the record, but it is funny that like a computer could do a better job, but also the umps not only have the power to like, yeah, we can keep this guy, um, to like call the stuff in the game, but also if you question them, they can be like, get the fuck out of here, you fuck, you're fucking done, man. You're like, really? We're paying that guy $35 million a year? You misheard and thought he called you the F word, so you're kicking him out of the game? That's like a, that's like a $700,000 uh, loss there. But it's also very funny. Like, is there a law in baseball where when you throw somebody uh, out, you have to, like, lean back and go... You can't just be like, get out of here. Like, you abs... In every... Like, that's that's their Oscar moment, right? When they're like... Yeah! Get, you know that sometimes they're going into the, the games like, give me a reason. Give me a fucking reason to do it. Just give me a reason. I did, dude, I loved, it's so good. I, I don't know if it was Joe West. I am familiar with Joe West. But was, was it him who kicked the Washington Nationals owner out of the game? Even though the owner was sitting in his box by himself? <laughs> That's so funny. Like, I, I, it was at the height of COVID, right? Like, or COVID hysteria, at least. And uh, he didn't have his mask on, even though he was in the box by himself. They kicked him out. The umpire was like, get the hell out of here. That's really funny. Like, you're just watching the game in your own, in the privacy of your own corporate box. And then all of a sudden, you're like, oh, I guess I gotta go. I guess I gotta leave the building. <laughs> Oh, this is really funny. Got to set an example. Yeah, he was treating it like a... It was like the Shawshank Redemption, man. All right, we, we gotta, just got to get a couple more. I just picture the GM. Yeah, he's like on his car. Or in his car, watching it on his phone. He's trying to figure out how to sign up for like MLB Home Plate or whatever it's called. All Access. Every sport has problems, right? I'm not... Like, hockey, it is frozen, and if you don't know what you're watching, it can be confusing. Baseball is long as hell, it can be a little boring. Football is like riddled with advertisements and is very dangerous. And you're like, well, what about soccer? Come on, everybody knows. You know, the problem with soccer is that you're incentivized, um, especially if you're winning, to whenever somebody uh, breathes on you to fall over and pretend for minutes and minutes at a time that you have an injury and then you know when you're burning the clock they carry you off on a stretcher and then as soon as they start the play up again you're like actually I'm good actually I'm fine now like that peace every sport's got problems you know That's, that's why I'm like, I, I guess I'm a boomer in this case, but that's why I'm like the strict adherence to the rules um, with like, oh, you know, that shouldn't count as a goal because you were offside 45 seconds ago, so technically the play shouldn't have happened in the first place. I'm like, 
Come on, man. You like... You know, it's a sport. It's never going to be perfect. You think in the NBA, people aren't, you know, faking... It, that's what we were we were told, you know, is like... I mean, not that I ever played high-level basketball. I mean, I was, you know... Let's be honest, I was like 5'2 in ninth grade. It's not like we were winning any national championships, but... You know, they were like, if somebody bumps into you, keep your feet planted as much as you can so that you fall over. <laughs> I don't know if that's the actual meta, but... Just saying. There's the meta. Finish. Floppings are foul? Yeah, but how do you tell, like, what's a flop? I mean, some you know it when you see it, but sometimes you're like... I mean, I fall down in silly ways all the time. I guess I'm not a professional athlete. Sometimes you know. Beautiful, beautiful. Peel me! There's a chance. Hold on, this is focus, focus me, focus me. Isn't falling frequently a bad sign? It's not cognitive, okay? It's because I walk like a freaking weirdo. This is a new, this is a new PB right here. I said it before. Oh, you bees! Lulu's so damn slow, man. Get it. On average, I I think that I uh, I probably I I don't fall often, but I stumble minimum once per hour. Steal. And that's not a joke. I'm constant because you, you know just the way that my my gait works. You know sometimes the toe on the foot moving forward strikes the sidewalk if there's like a crack in it. Collect three. Speak to me, my. I've, I've been doing it for life, man. I I don't mean stump stumbling like um, <laughs> Lemnis gate is pretty good. Like, I'm not f f almost falling. It's just my toe strikes the sidewalk, and then I go, oops, and then I get up. <laughs> it's no problem, man. Too much Mountain Dew. I'm all hopped up on Mountain Dew, Chip. I don't remember the... I don't remember the rest of the lyrics. I mean, the words. The script? That's what it's called when it's in a movie. Yeah, plus I walk like a lot, man. Dude, my parents, they're walking like crazy. It's actually, it's insane. Sometimes by the time they get to our place, they check their uh, app and they're like, they're like, we walked uh, 12,000 steps already today. And I'm like, you guys shouldn't have walked so much. Because as soon as you get here, it's my time with the baby, and I'm like, I want to walk now. And they're like, oh, it's no problem. So then I you throw on, like, another, like, six or seven thousand steps on, on our walk together. And then we get home, and they're like, uh, oh, we're just going to, like, walk back. And I'm like, you don't want me to, like, drive you? And they're like, no, it's all good. It's good. They're getting, like, 20,000 steps a day, man. I don't even know what that's got to be, like, like eight or nine miles of, of walking. It's... it's it's enviable, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, that's a, it's spending like four or five hours a day in transit. That's a lot, man. I mean, to be fair, what else are they gonna do right now? So, you know, it's, especially in Vancouver, like, a, we talk about it now and then, but there's like, not that much to do as a tourist. Um, great city to live in, but it's like a lot of, uh, you know, eating. Please! I'm not cranky! I'm just saying... I don't, When they come over, I'm like, I hope you're not that tired, because I'm walking too. 
How walkable is it? Oh, it's, it's very walkable. In case you hadn't gleaned that already. Yeah, you can hike here. Go to the Palladium? The Palladium kind of sucks. Well, I don't... I don't know if there's even... I, I apologize for crapping on some nostalgia. I don't think that the big Palladium exists anymore. There is like a weird Palladium in... I think it's in Metro Town. It's in one of the malls, and that sucks. Because, like, for some reason, the... Like, arcades, and I guess the reason is money. A lot of them have pivoted from, like, arcade games to, like, the coin game style, you know, ticket gambling games. So, like, instead of uh, t t X six six person X Men games, it's like put money into the machine or put coin the uh, tokens into the machine, and then the coin pusher like pushes things, and then you get a bunch of tickets, and you're like, I just spent eighty five bucks on like uh, a, a hat that smells like asbestos. Get the coin. Like, there's a deal or no deal arcade machine, and it just makes me laugh every time. It's like the easiest game to program you could ever imagine. You, They roll a random number from 1 through 20, they give you that ordinal number as a prize, and then they just offer you like 49% of the... Well, they, they offer you like... I'm so stupid. They offer you slightly less than the average of all remaining prices. And then you, I mean, you kind of get your money's worth because you could just hit no over and over and, and let it ride. But if that's, if that's what your goal is, that's funny, but. Owned. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the Super Auto Pets tier list. We got some Jackbox coming up, don't fear. I would, I would like to get a little higher up on the gold tier here. I'm enjoying having some banter, though. It's a long weekend with limited streaming. That was good. 6.53 is good. I'm hoping we got people for Jackbox. I'm not, I'm not trying to rag on... Look, I guess I'm trying to rag, okay? <clears throat> I, I said, does anyone want a Jackbox today? I sent it very early. I'm not throwing anybody under the bus. It's just funny. People said, I would love to. We just need to make sure that it dodges the football podcast. I said, that's no problem. We can plan around it. What time is it? I don't know. Normally, it's at this time. But it's not going to be at this time today because one of the people involved has something to do during that time. So we're going to do it at a different time of the day. But we don't know when it is. And I was like, this is four, five Adults in their late 20s, their 30s, they do this as a career. They've been doing it as a career for most of their adult lives. They're going to re record a podcast today. None of them know when it is. How does this happen? It's just different, you know, different sensibilities. I suppose. I, I like to have my day somewhat scheduled. <laughs> and I, the, the thing is... One person not knowing when to do it can screw up the scheduling for everybody else. Okay? So I'm not saying all five of them are equal here, or six of them, or however many people are on. I'm just like, you really, like you... I would be like, can we lock down a time, please? Dunk, 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 dunk. No, we, we could have gotten in on the first one there. 18 seconds, six games. Owned. Not owned. Dude, the Lulu game at the end is so freaking slow. Got any Halifax anecdotes? Uh, I have exactly one Halifax anecdote. My uh, great aunt lives in, Hal in Dartmouth. Not in England. But in Escape. in North America, so I I went to the the first IMAX movie I ever saw. Oh, we're not even close. First IMAX movie I ever saw was an under the sea nature documentary in in Dartmouth. 
I mean in Halifax. <laughs> Visa via Dartmouth. Dartmouth does sound like a Dick Tracy character. I I would love to go to Halifax. Need some Halifax don't air? Why would you ride? Do you know what? Let's just keep an index of games next to me. Then we can do it, man. Grip seal. <laughs> Whoa, that's speed. Exit. I wonder if you could get on top of the pusher and, and skip a little faster there. That's not fast enough, man. That's not fast enough. Don't get them. That was fast. That was quick. Was it a school thing? No, it was just for like, um, just for recreation on a March break. Although, um, I did. I don't know if any anybody else here is from uh, Eastern Ontario. Southeastern Ontario, I suppose. Um, all of the cool field trips we took, except for my eighth grade graduation, were exactly the same. We went to Ottawa. We went to Parliament Hill and the Parliament Buildings. After the tour of the Parliament Buildings, if you had a, if you had the cojones, they'd let you go up in the elevator to the top of the Peace Tower, because it's pretty tall up there. Um, then. You would leave and go to the Museum of Civilization in in Hull. Collect three. And then on the way back, you would watch Shrek on the bus. You peace tower. <laughs> That's the first time I ever saw Shrek was on the bus back from the uh, Museum of Civilization. It's a cool museum. I had astronaut ice cream there for the first time ever. You ever go to Upper Canada Village? You know, you're, you're unearthing some great anecdotes. In seventh grade, we went to Upper Canada Village for a field trip. Uh, it's like maybe an hour and a half, two hours away from where my school was. Upper Canada Village is a, it's just a pioneer village. So everybody there lives or works as if it's still like the 1800s. So you'd go to like a mill or something like that. They, you know, but I'm, I work at the grist mill. Wheat comes in through this chute, and then I turn this big gear, and flour comes out. And you're like, all right. Anyway, my parents gave me ten dollars to buy souvenirs, which was pretty pog. I went to the gift shop. I bought a loaf of bread. But it was good bread, because it was, like, made in the pioneer style. And then I just, uh, I ate, like, almost the whole loaf of bread on the bus back, but I didn't have, like, a knife or anything like that. So I just, like, ripped it up with my hands. But then what was left when I got home? This is how the mind of a child works. Um, when we got home, I was like, oh, my family's gonna love this bread. So I just set it out on the dinner table, but it was like all, it was like a rat had been in it because I just ripped off like all the crust and stuff like that to eat it on the bus. They were like, oh, thanks. <laughs> I talked about that bread today. Look, I only had it the one time and in some ways that's like the most magical, right? Like something, scarcity has a lot of value like that. In my head, that's like one of the best loaves of bread I've ever eaten. But I also, like, I didn't exactly have a very sophisticated palate as a 7th grader. I feel like working at a pioneer village, like, maybe it's fun when you're older. But I think you definitely, like, when little kids come to Upper Canada Village, I'm sure it's cool. Um, when old enthusiasts come to Upper Canada Village, I'm sure sometimes it's cool and sometimes you're like, you know, you gotta deal with like some retired professor being like, Hey, did you use wrought iron when you made this? And then you're like, oh, yes I did. And then they're like, well, wrought iron didn't exist in Canada until 1893. And yet Upper Canada Village is supposed to be 1861, so what is it? And you're just like, you know, come on, man. I'm just like a... I'm a Ryerson acting student, just trying to like make ends meet in the summer. But teenagers and like older adolescents has gotta be the worst 
age group. Because we're in seventh grade. We're not taking it seriously at all. The whole time, we were just like, you're not a, you know, a farmer. <laughs> like, you're just the guy. <laughs> you have an earring, man. Like, I, I can't take this serious. I think for little kids, you know, the magic's kind of there. But also, little kids wouldn't care, right? As, you're, as a child, you know, when you're like eight years old, you're not like, whoa. Wow, things were hard back then. I think you're like, you know. I hope this ends soon so I can go play my Game Boy. You peace. Dunk, dunk. That was the fastest corn we've ever had. Yeah, if they had an alien, if, if they took us to a village where everybody lived like it was a damn future, that would have been sick. Fuel. <laughs> if they were like, in the future, everybody eats soiling for every meal, I'd be like, whoa, that's crazy. Oh, not Soylent Green, just Soylent. You know what's funny? Look, I know Idiocracy has some, uh, it's a funny movie with, you know, if analyzed in the least, uh, empathetic way possible, maybe has some, uh, troubling opinions in it. But there was like a period where on Reddit, you couldn't, like, miss a, a single day without people being like, uh, wow, the world is kind of like idiocracy these days, right? But I've realized we've actually crossed, in, in some ways, not completely, but in some ways, we've actually crossed through an extra threshold, um, where I look at idiocracy almost as if it's, like, optimistic speculative fiction, because when they have a crisis, they actually, like, listen to the smartest people that are in charge <laughs> and implement uh, like solutions based on that person's uh, reasoning you know what I mean like now I'm like dude soy that's uh, soylent um, uh, idiocracy now I'm like idiocracy is almost like wow what what man I kind of wish I lived in the in the world of idiocracy where like the smartest person on earth people are like immediately implement his ideas about this Instead, we're living in a world where everybody thinks they're the smartest person on Earth. Myself included. Many of you are wrong. I'm probably right. You peace? This is not bad. This is good timing. Now, just don't screw up the nose. James Corn! James Corny! <laughs> Anyway, we're still- we're, we, look, we got 15 minutes left to try. Get it. Oh, hello! Can we show you a new trick that the baby has learned? Hey, honey. Baksu! Baksu! Can you Baksu? Baksu! Hey! Hey, baby. Baksu! <laughs> oh, there she go. Yeah, good job, honey. She learned how to clap this weekend. Steal. Don't do it, Ruka. Don't do it. <laughs> he he went after Tomo. He, like, with Tomo, he, they had a little scuffle, right? I heard some hissing, and I went, uh, you know, they, you know, they usually when they hiss once, they got it sorted out. Then, like, 30 seconds later, I heard, like, more scratching on the hardwood, like, more hissing and meowing. I went out, and it was, like, I don't even want to say, it was so furry out there. 
That is good. Collect three. I'm gonna collect three real quick. It's not that bad. Poor cats. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, poor us. I wake up at like 4 a.m. every day. This guy jumps from the highest point in our bedroom, like lands directly on my feet, and then lays in between my two feet. Like if he laid to the side, it would be totally fine. But he won't lay like to the side. He's like, I have to be in the middle. Cute? No. Not cute. Annoying. That's James Corny. <laughs> Where's your head? <laughs> That's mommy's head. Where's your nose? Oh, good job. Where's your head? Collect three. Just gonna collect three real quick. What about peekaboo? Peekaboo. <laughs> Peekaboo! That's a smart baby right there. That's a smart baby. She must take after her mother. <laughs> Peekaboo! Baksu! Peekaboo! Corn on the cob. That's a good one. Hey. Good seat. Hello. That's my that's my headphones. We could have been on the first plug there. Dunk dunk dunk. Defeat. Do we do we? That was close. Where's your head? Oh, that's mommy's head. Excuse me? Yeah, I did say that before. <laughs> If we always go to the left on collect, that could save us like one second flat. Got to be a little faster there. I know what we're doing next. It's helicopter. You bees, you bees. Always far left collect. Helicopter. Okay, we did 10 minutes. We can set a better score. I don't know if we're going to get 27, but... We, we should have butt slammed around that instead of just letting it happen. I think it's... Chat said it's like 4%. But at some point, you know, with a game like this, only the true psychos remain. Like, probably most of the normies who were playing WarioWare are already washed out on the Pioro challenge, myself included. Hey, I am the Sun Bear. Thank you for the gifted subscriptions, by the way. Please, please, please me. <laughs> Day. Ooh, ooh. There's a time save on Factory. <laughs> if you just smash jump, you get to the end faster. Okay, you know what? Great intel. This is like, that's locked. Dunk, 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 dunk. Steel. Perloin! <laughs> I can't believe we've been doing this for like almost two hours now. Yeah. Your piece. Baksu. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Steal me. I needed to steal fat. We need to steal immediately there. Oh, time skip on doorbell by thrusting into the ground to go bup, 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 bup. that's a great idea that's a great idea that's huge exit 
Okay, this is first time skip is is spam ability. Maybe a little. Collect three. We are at 6.55 is okay. Acceptable. Under 10 here is really good. I don't remember you. Get the coin. The Kubrick stare. Hello, Chibli. Oh, when you said hi, baby, you weren't talking to me. You were talking to the baby. I understand. Hello, Chibli. Hi, Chibli. Hello. That's kind of a hi. How about bye, Chibli? Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Spam me. Spam me, you piece. That might have been faster. Bye-bye. Collect three. Pretty good. Back soon. That was that was really bad. That was so slow. Back soon. Get it. <laughs> Oh, some treats, Ruka. What do we got? Nine minutes for this casual WarioWare? I don't think we're gonna, like this challenge I've had fun with, I don't think we're gonna grind it the same way we we grinded it out like two weeks ago. But I'm glad I'd like to cement us in the gold tier level. Collect three. If possible, 6.7 is workable. It's workable. Why not? You gotta talk survivor, man. 9.3. Beautiful seed there. 10.25 is good stuff. That could have been worse, all things considered. <laughs> Finish. Corn me. James! Okay. Chair. Chair is coming up. You know it, I know it. Take a seat. Lucky. 16.11 is doable. Plug it. Should move to the right on nose, just in case you get it. You get the dream seed. Jimmy Speedy. Holy shit. <laughs> Get it. That hurts. That one hurt. Dunk, dunk. Too, a little too speedy. A little too speed. Garlic me! 1.48. Dunk, dunk. Okay, then. Speed me. It's 5.21. It's about as fast as it gets. 6.55 is very good. Very good. Pop me. That's a that's a quick pop. 8.8 .8. sub 9 pop is huge. Now now get your brain. Get your brain screwed on straight. 10.58. Not bad. Huge. That was the hugest. Very fast cross. Slow corn, but that's okay. We're still in there. Seat. Take a seat. You're a piece. You're a piece. 17, but that's going to be tough. That's going to be tough. Plug it. Oh, you know, if you see plug it, you got to hold right. After... Get it. Was it after James? Was it after, after James Corny? Is is hold right, hold right to get in the nose, hold left on collect. Don't forget about that. After seat, after seat, you're gonna hold left. Okay, or have it hold right, hold right. After seat, you're gonna hold right on collect. You're gonna hold left. Collect three. 
6.98, not that bad. Reasonably quick. Sub 9, it is not, but it's reasonably quick. Get the coin. Knew that was coming. It's about as fast as we ever get there. We have a cross coming soon. Cross. Good cross. Good cross. Okay, now, corn me, seat me. Finish. Good corn. Seat me. Seat me's tough. Seat me's tough. Oh, no. <laughs> Instant seat. Now hold right for the nose. Please, please. Can't be done. You gotta you gotta do a super bounce. She can't food. Did she like it? <laughs> she did she is laughing. I mean, I don't think, you, you know, you, can, you can't stop a baby from eating <laughs> cat food, I guess. <laughs> no, it's okay. It happens. Collect three. Quick, quick, quick. 6.95 is good enough. No, nah, babies are like, like, honestly, it's crazy how fast... You'll, like, not look at a baby for half a second, and then you're like, guess what? She just ate, like, a whole, whole garbage bag. You're like, all right, well. You can pay me back later. It happens, man. Beautiful cross. 14 seconds is fine. That means we have corn. Corn. Reasonably fast. Then we have seat. All things considered, that could have been worse. Then, we have nose, but we take a bounce. Because I don't think we can make it. it. We tried. Now, collect, we go far left, but that's not you. Defeat. Collect, we go far left. Peel. Beautiful, okay. Collect, this is collect, I think. We go far left. They put that there for that reason. They put that there for that. Are you telling me there's no secret? You just gotta be fast? That's bullshit, man. That pipe's always gonna be there. It is what it is. Collect three? 6.6, .6, that's good. Let's use your brain. This is pop. Start with this guy pointed in the right direction. That's a fast pop. 8.9, very fast pop. Get the, coin. Get the coin is sometimes a little nasty, but that's pretty good. Now we got uh, always jumping, cross. cross. Good cross. Following cross, we have corn. Get pointed. 10 o'clock. Very fast. Then we have seat. Seat comes next. Seat RNG. Very good seat RNG. Now we have nose, but we don't hold it. We don't hold it. We wait for it. Now we have Jimmy defeat. Good timing. I don't remember what you are. Peel. Followed by... Collect, where we go left, but not far left. Collect. Ah! Get it. We gotta go further left, I guess. Further left. Get it. Dude, we, we're actually closing in on, on the greatness here. Jimmy. Steel. Bad seal, is it steel, RNG, but that's okay. Okay, what are we doing here? Exiting. Exit. Sequence break me. You can't sequence break there. I don't. I don't. I don't believe you can get past the fan. It's a two-tile wide fan. Okay. I don't believe. It. Collect three. Collect three. 
Six, seven? A little slow, but that's okay. Then we got pop, point up. Acceptable. 9.31, acceptable. Then we have get the coin, start in the air. Following get the coin. We have cross, where we spawn on the left. Best cross you're ever gonna see. Now we have corn, 10 p.m. please. Slow, slow, but we're still in here. Following corn, it's take a seat. Take a seat. I, I just got it wrong. We're about, we're a little slow. We're a little slow. It's okay. This is far left. Plug it. Never mind. It's okay. It doesn't slow us down. It's defeat at 2 p.m. Forgot about Peel. That was good. 21.8 is okay. Now we're going as far left as they'll let us. Please, please. No, okay, you get you gotta do a bounce there. You gotta do an extra bounce. It just has to be done. I, I, I'm, I feel like it's a little bit bullshit, but you can't you can't hold left any more than I was holding left. That was as far as you can do it. We're we're approaching the the upper maximum of human accomplishment, you know? Like, we're right in there. Okay, next. It's exit. Exit's easy. I don't think there's a sequence break. I could be wrong. Wonder if you could get in a cycle early. Wonder if you could get in a cycle early. Left on down. Collect three. 6.9 is good. Left on down. Try to get in a cycle early. Pop. Owns. 9.28's okay. Get the coin. Very good coin spawn. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm embarrassed to say I didn't know we were on cross, but our, our timing was still good, our RNG was still good. I've completely forgotten the sequence, but it's working. Sit. Could have been faster, but I, I second guess myself. That's this dude. Why did she build like that? <laughs> she's got, she's smuggling. I don't even want to say it. Get me out of. You see, she's got like a. She's built like a paragraph sign. No, that's like three seconds. You piece. We could probably push it a little faster. We could go a little left, down left, and then do it. This one's gonna be close. Escape. Escape. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> we can do it. Like in actuality, we we've got the record just sitting there. Okay. Next one. This is uh, pop. Steel. Yeah. The record is there, man. The record is there. Oh, dude, dude, we, okay, 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 we can do it, we can do it. That's like a two-second save. Get it. Mm -hmm. okay. Garlic. Steel. Exit. It's so doable, man. Get it. It's so doable. <laughs> Just get through that once, man. Then it's... Steel. That's what it's all about. Please, please, please. Far left. Exit. People are like, you did it? I did not do it! You gotta watch... Do you wanna get pushed by the thing? Get it. Okay. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. I, I was trying Jimmy on doorbell. Steel. Bounce on the ground, but I, I don't think it actually is the play. I think you just have to hit three at once or two at once. Exit. I think you gotta... 
I think you gotta squeeze it, man. Point seven six. Garlic steel. Steel. One point six. You used to think it's like five seconds here. Exit. Get it. <laughs> the Kubrick stare. Get it. We might leave this for the next day, okay? Oh, that's big. Just go over top? No, no, yeah, there, there's a fan. There's a fan. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll run this as an attempt. It, I bet we can do it, but it needs a little bit of tech. Needs some labbing. Collect three. 6.5 is good. Reasonably quick. Eight point, sub nine is good. Coin, coin me. Get the coin. Dream coin seed, sub 10 is good. I'm gonna try going far right on plug, but. Cross. I know it's burned us in the past, but like in my head, I'm like, it's still believable, man. Wait, no, because I've done it so many times. How could it possibly be? Okay, this is seat. Use your brain on seat, okay? Okay, it's plug. You gotta try now. Plug it. No, that's that's as far right as it can be held. That's as that's as hard as as far right as you can hold it. Get it. So now we're we're learning the best practice for every game. Okay. Steel. We're like a second off. Now just send it for the open seat. That's something I'm very interested in, in trying out. Garlic me? That's big, 1.4, okay. Followed by... No... Oh, we were almost, we almost made it, okay. 5.1 is good though. Seven is not good, but we're not off by much. Nine point five is too slow. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Get the coin. Pretty slow. Okay, we're crossing now. Where are we starting? Right or left? Cross. To the right. Double gazelle. That's not where you want to be. Spam jump and hold left on factory. I promise it can be done. Okay. I I, I don't disbelieve you. Okay. I don't disbelieve you. This is seat. Fuck you. <laughs> Spam it. Spam it. We got to do the tier list, man. Get it. Okay, that's, sorry. We've got to be on the third one. That was bad RNG. Get it. Seat was bad RNG. Every, every, every piece of that was bad RNG, you piece. Steel. 2.2 is pretty bad, but you got to give it a try. Spam, spam, spam. I hit the ceiling though. I hit the ceiling. How'd you how'd you sneak through the ceiling, you piece? <laughs> Collect three. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Run it back. Get it. Squeeze me. This is how I end up playing WarioWare for the whole week, man. Steel. No, oh, two point two eight. It's too slow. One spam, one spam. Oh! <laughs> I was there! I was in it! I just needed one more ground pound. Collect three. That's okay. 7.4 is okay. Dunk, dunk. That is new tech. 9.9, .9. still slow, still slow. Get the coin. Get the coin. Bad coin RNG. Juice me. Get it. I want a parlay. A juice me into a squeeze me. Celtics win the tip off. Kevin Garnett. Steel. 
shoots under 28% from by beyond the arc. Exit. And the first song they play at the halftime show is Let's Get It Started by the Black Eyed Peas. This is how I win. Collect three. Average time to get served a beer in TD Garden. 9.65 minutes. This is how I win. Fuck you. <laughs> Okay, actual last one. Yunk. Actual last one. Actual last one. Garlic, garlic. Big garlic. Okay, one spam and then a ground pound. Oh, we were almost in it. It's all right, we still got a chance. 5.06 is, is a great score right now. That's okay. 6.75 is good enough. Peel. Or, I mean, pop. Two different parts of the skincare routine. Nine seconds even. Totally fine. Coin. One more. Bad coin synergy. Last one. <laughs> Come on, you knew! Steal me! 1.48. Okay, this is this is the shit, man. This is the shit right here. Exit. You mother. 5.16 is still really good. Squeezy. Okay, this is three. Six point six six. It's the one. The devil laughs. Coin. Don't screw up. Coin. 9.15 is fine. Okay? Don't screw up coin. Just use your brain. Get the coin. Stinky coin, but that's okay. This is gonna be cross, and we wanna see where we start. Cross. Get it. We were a millisecond away, dude. We were a millisecond away. Last one. Get it. Who said that? Banned. Promoted. VIP. Who said that? I know you just got my best interest in mind. Who said that? Steel. Garlic me 1.36. Okay, this this is what it's all about, man. Exit. Five point oh five. It's a new record. Collect three. Collect three. Six point two eight is really good. Okay, this is pop. We started twelve o'clock. You mother! Whoa, okay, 9.7, it's doable. We're, we're, we're short, but it's doable. Coin, coin me, coin me. 11.21, good cross. We need a, we need a sub-13 cross. Not gonna happen. Bad RNG. Over 14 cross. Okay, big plays. This is corn. Okay, we need an instant seat. Instant seat. Take a seat. That's not that bad. Only about two seconds short of where I'd like to be. Plug it. Could have done better on that one, but that's fine. 18.95, reasonably good plug. Defeat? Defeat. 20.13, defeat. Into escape. No, not yet. Peel. Into peel. Beautiful peel, 21.81. It's tight, it's tight, it's tight. It's not an easy one. Collect. Get it. I forgot it existed. We we because we always restart. Steel. 1.38 is very good. Okay, please. Please. Collect three. Collect three. Six point four five. Even better. Even better. Actual last one. Pop me. Big pops. Eight point eight eight. Good. 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 Get the coin. Don't fuck it up. You fucked it up. Get it. Eight one. Everyone shut up. 
Shut up. Just say it, man. Coin's bullshit, man. Coin is bullshit. Five point two six. What is this amateur hour? Collect three. Collect three. That's how you do it. That's a better line. Better line. We can remember that. Hit it twice. Grab it twice. Pop me. Nine point one one is okay. The clock freezes when we die. I didn't know that. That's useful for us. Coin me. Beautiful coin RNG. Doesn't get any better. Next, we've got cross. See where you start. Good crossing RNG. Next, we have corn. We're going to need a big James Corny on this one. Point me. Incredible James Corny. Next step, seats. Seats are dangerous. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, just sit down! Okay, 15.85, we can do it. Smack me, plug me. That's as good as a plug is gonna get on that RNG. Okay, starting next, we're gonna be defeating. Defeat. Beautiful, 18.48 defeat. We follow this with a collect, no, with a peel. Beautiful peel. <laughs> now we have a collect, we go left on the way down. You have money! I went a frame to the left just to try to finesse it. I don't know if I'm mad at the game or if I'm mad at myself. Otherwise, you can't make it in two, man. Steal. I think. Okay, what the... We're so fucking close. Exit. No, look, ma, no hands. It's not, all is not lost. All is not lost. Okay. 9.93. We can still pull out on this one, man. Okay, you just get lucky. Okay, you know how it goes. Get the coin. Get the coin. Dream coin synergy. Then we need dream cross. Dream crossing, please. Cross. That's not a dream cross. That's an extra half second, but that's fine. Now we need Dream James Corny, please. James Corny. Finish. That's great. We made up a little time. Now seat. Seat is big. Take a seat. That's huge. We're back in the we're back in the saddle. This is plug. Plug it. Beautiful. Now we got defeat. That's very doable. I don't like the bounce, but that's okay. Now we have something. Peel. Peel. It's funny how you always forget the same things, okay? Now, this, don't go left. Collect. Go left. So you can't make it in, in two on that cycle, but that's okay. I don't even remember, man. That's fast. That was fast. Now this is escape. And then you gotta just spam that. Just spam it. Oh! Right on time! Considering how bad the start was, that was good stuff. Oh, man. Oh, secured. Top A tier secured. Slash marker. OK, 